Okay, so here's an Acer laptop, and it is not booting properly. I've been going through the boot cycle many, many times, and it's either, first it wasn't letting me log in, uh, I tried to do this fix, and then it got a little bit farther, and then it won't let me log in, it gets up to the, the main screen, before it just had a black screen. Um, so, here's something we can try, and sometimes, uh, it helps if I unplug the power cable. I do this whole this power button. We'll turn it off and we'll see power button there. Turn it back on. And we'll let it okay, so it's booting. And as soon as it gets the circles, we'll hit the power button again and force it back off again. Okay, and then we'll start it back up. We'll do that a few times until it will uh, let us get into the uh, the fixing mode. Okay. Okay, again, we turn the power back off. Okay, and then we'll click it back on again. Okay, so see, it says automatic repair mode. Okay, and uh, we'll just wait a second and it will load up with a screen that will um, allow us to try to fix the boot. Okay, I just tried this a little bit ago and it got a little bit farther in the boot after I tried it. So maybe if I do it again it will fix the final problem. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so here's some different options. We can continue exit to Windows, use a device with the USB to connect to Windows Recovery. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to troubleshoot it. So we will bring our mouse to here and we'll try troubleshooting. And so it gives you two options. If you reset this PC, you will lose everything. So you probably don't want to do that as a first option. And uh, but I think that just basically wipes the computer and reinstalls Windows which is, you're going to lose everything if you do that. Um, okay, we'll try advanced options. And, uh, okay, I've, let's see. This is what I tried last time, and it got a little bit farther in the boot process. Maybe if I try repairing it again, start up repair, fixes problems that keep the windows from loading. Okay, and I uh, might try that one one more time. There's some other options. This might be a possibility to uninstall updates. Sometimes when they put new updates on, um, it will cause a problem with your system. Sometimes you can uh, go back. Here's a system restore. It will save uh, certain points on your computer where you've restored it. or You might have to tell it to save those points and you can go back to a previous one where it was working. Where it, it saves the, um, I believe it's the registry uh, settings because that can mess the computer up on Windows so it doesn't work. But let's try, uh, of course, command prompt. You can do advanced commands through there if you want, but I, I'm not going to do that. We'll just try to have the computer auto uh, fix itself. So we'll do startup repair. Okay, try that one. Okay, so in order to uh, enter the startup repair, we're going to need the password again. So we'll type that in. We'll try doing this one more time. Okay. Okay, here we go. Acer computer. Diagnosing your PC. Okay, so now we're going to let that run for a little while. And we'll see, this takes a long time to run, so I'm going to let it go. And uh, we'll see if this fixes the problem. You know, the first time I ran it, it was just boot up, and it would just go into a blank screen. And then the second time, it would go through almost all the boot, go up to the main screen, and uh, but it wouldn't let me log in. So maybe we'll do a little bit more repairs this time, and he'll be able to log in this time. We'll see. Now we'll have to try some more drastic measures. Okay. 
Okay, so now it has moved on to the next portion. It says it's attempting repairs after several minutes of the other thing. Okay. We'll let that run for a little bit and uh, see if this time around it uh, fixes something. Like I said last time, it uh, got a little bit farther in the boot after doing this repair. Maybe it'll do nothing, maybe it'll completely fix it, we'll see. Okay. Anyway, if anyone's interested, uh, let's see if this, I can get this in focus. Aspire 3, I'm going to assume that's the part number, A315-53-50Y. Seven. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I finally finished and we're at this screen where we could supposed to log in. Let's see if it gives us the option to log in. Still doing this again. Okay, so we're back into this setup thing again. We'll try troubleshooting again. Advanced options. Uh, re system restore. Use a restore point recorded on your PC to restore. Okay. Starting system resources. Our, our system system restore can help fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers may be uninstalled. Okay. Next. Okay, automatic restart. Okay, so this was 228.21. So I guess we can try that restore point. And there it looks like there's some previous restore points where we did Windows updates. We'll try the most recent one and see if that will fix the problem. We can scan for affected programs. Hmm. Programs and drivers that will be deleted, none detected. Okay. Programs and drivers that might be restored, none detected. Okay. So we'll try that restore point. Okay. And we'll click next. Okay. Once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? System restore cannot be undone until after it has completed. If system restore is being run in safe mode or from system recovery menus, it cannot be undone. Okay, let's continue. This might fix it. It'll set it back to a previous date when this, hopefully the computer was working properly. So we'll see what happens. Preparing to restore your system. Okay. And again, we're restoring it to the most recent uh, date that's possible, which is a few months ago. And uh, we'll see if uh, this fixes our problem or not.
Okay, so now it's doing initializing. Okay, now it's restoring files. Okay, so it's finalizing file restore. Okay. It's been going for a long time now. We'll see if this works. Okay, system restore was completed. System has been restored to uh, 22821. Your documents have not been affected. Click restart. Okay, we'll see how that works. Okay, and the computer is restarting. Okay, we just rebooted it, and let's see if we get our login screen, finally. Okay, it's behaving a little bit different now, before it would go blurry. Hmm, still not fixing the login screen so far. Oh, we did get a step closer, because it wasn't even getting this close to the boot, uh, booting before. So, I don't know, this, uh... Procedure it looks like it didn't fix this computer, and I'm not sure what to try next other than trying to uh, Basically remove the hard drive and recover the data which I show in some of my other videos But uh, maybe these procedures might help you uh, fix your computer you can try it and If uh, it does help please uh, Tell me in the comments. I appreciate knowing because every computer acts differently computers are very complicated and they have lots of different types of problems Okay, so we got back into this mode by doing that same thing with the startup key a couple times. And we'll go into troubleshooting, advanced settings, startup settings. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit restart. Okay, and then we're going to, while we're restarting, hit the function an F5 key, the function in F5, so F5 up there, and the function key down there, and this should bring us into um, safe mode with uh, network options, and we'll see how that works. Okay. Press a number key to choose the option. Let's see, we want to go safe mode, enable safe mode with networking. So that would be number five, right? So we're going to push number five down here. All right. Okay, finally success. By doing the safe mode boot, we were able to get into the boot mode. Okay, so it looks like we'll be able to boot up. I think we fixed the problem. Yeah.